All right, for starters, we need to pick a note, any note, as long as it's a note that is on the E string or the A string. Uh, the other four are gonna be off limits for right now. So I'm gonna pick just for fun, G. That'll be the E string, third fret. That is our G. And that's the note that the chord is gonna be named off of. Whatever this first note is, that's the note that the chord gets named after. So this is a G power chord. First finger on the third fret of the E string. Next, we're gonna take our ring finger, and we're, whatever our first note is, we're gonna go down one string and up two frets. So we were on E string third fret, now we're gonna be on A string fifth fret. So now we have two notes, the G and a D. And that already is a power chord. If you can do that, you now have a movable shape that you can use to start playing songs. You get the idea. Now we can make it sound even bigger if we use our first finger, our ring finger, and then we take our pinky finger and we put it down right next door to our ring finger. It'll be the same fret, but it'll be one string down. So our pinky will be on the fifth fret of the D string. Play all three of those notes together, and you have an even bigger power chord. Now one thing that's really important is to make sure that when you're playing the notes, you're only hitting the notes that you have your fingers on. That you're not also playing the open things, the open strings because that's gonna be a bunch of notes that aren't in the power chord. And it just gets noisy. So what you can do, uh, you can either just be really careful with your right hand and only hit those strings, or you can allow your first finger that you have on this E string to rest gently across the other three strings, uh, the high E string, the high B string, and the high G string, uh, rest gently across them but not press down on them so that whenever you strum those strings, no sound comes out. And that's called muting. That way, instead of having to be very careful about what things you're hitting, if you have them muted, you can really beat on the strings and hit all of the strings, but you're only going to hear the ones that are in your chord. So that's pretty much all there is to a power chord.